the ninth week course content of two modules and its related videos takes you through the different arenas of development and provide the guiding principle of developmentally appropriate practices and also would suggest its related practices to be used with children of 0 to 3 years. Piaget believed that the child to be young scientist and so must be left on their own to learn and understand, whereas Vygotsky emphasized on the concept of scaffolding, a temporary support that adult needs to give children in order for them to attain their development to the fullest. Arnold Jessel was the first person to study children and explain the developmental milestones and provided scales with which a child's development can be ascertained. For a parent, a caretaker, a teacher or anybody in the field of early childhood education should have knowledge of the developmental areas and milestones a child needs to accomplish. Knowing the milestones is not sufficient, it's very important to help a child achieve those developmental milestones and at the same time the adults must never expect a child to perform beyond their developmental limit. In order to keep a check, it's very important to inculcate developmentally appropriate practices either in school or at home. Developmentally appropriate practices or practices or activities practiced with a child to help a child attain optimal learning and development. The major developmental areas of physical, cognitive, language and socio-emotional. In this module, let us understand the physical and cognitive developmental milestones and developmentally appropriate practices to help a child to achieve it. Thank you.